Alright guys, we're going to show you the high pressure cylinder here, what it consists of, and how easy it is to tear this thing down if you ever need to. Right, you need two wrenches, a 14 millimeter, 17 millimeter, and one Allen wrench. I'm going to set them up here for right now. What we've done is we've taken the 10 millimeter bolts out of this sheet metal cover with our wonderful logo on it. We're going to set it aside. It's pretty simple. Moved our water reservoir out of the way. Now to make this easier for the video, i got a couple little clamps here. These are push connect fittings for the water. I'm going to just double those over and clamp them off, get them out of the way here where they don't leak all over the place. And we're going to do the same thing with this one. This one won't have near as much. Now we're out of the way. And I can show you in a little more detail if that'll stay out of the way how to do this. All right. First thing you got to do is take loose your two air lines. You hold the, the bottom nut, which is 17 millimeter, loosen the top one a little bit. It's already broke loose. All right. Yep. We can remove it the rest of the way, get it started, and it'll, yeah, it'll move out of the way for you. And then it's the opposite way on these with the gland nut being bigger. And loosen that off. You get up out of your way. And then all you need is an Allen. There's four socket head Allens on the top and a temperature probe. Alright, we're going to take these off. Bear in mind this is aluminum with stainless fasteners, so. You do need a little bit of anti-seize on there. There's anti-seize on it now, but go back together with it. You want to fit just a little dab of it on there. You don't need thread to season up. Take these four bolts out. Bearing in mind it's got lock washers and that on it, so take these out. And the water system, coolant system on this is external, so you don't have to worry about any of this water getting into your air supply when you're tearing it down. I'll show you that in a minute. This has a, a really small piston in here. We can remove this. Set it up here on the top so we don't have to undo the probe. Um, as I was saying, this has a relatively small cylinder in it, and uh, the reason it's it's so high speed is the RPM of the motor. It's a real high RPM motor. Anyway, we're going to take this off, let the water drain out of there. There's an O-ring at the top, there's an O-ring at the bottom, and there's two small O-rings here for the water to go down inside, travel around the cylinder, and come back up. I'm going to remove those. By putting the Allen inside them, pulling them off there. Pretty simple, easy way to do it. And now we can remove the outer water jacket. Just a piece of machine tubing for the O ring reset. I'm set that up there too. All right, now you have your cylinder itself, which is machined aluminum with a stainless steel insert. And we're going to take the base mounting screws off. The same size hex head, six millimeter thread, and the same thing goes on those with the anti seize. We're going stainless steel into some iron down there, so you want to make sure you get a little anti seize on them when you go back together with them. Get them all loosened up, and they come right out. much to it so far. Nothing really to be afraid of guys here. Don't over tighten the screws. Make sure and put any C's on them. Alright. One last down here at the bottom. Alright now there's a gasket in between here. We're going to break the seal on that by rocking it back and forth a little bit real gently. And we're just going to pull it straight up. All right. Now we can see the piston rod for the high pressure. All right. Go 
you'll notice here we have four silicon bronze rings. Not O-rings, not anything like that, not any kind of rubber or plastic. These are silicon bronze O-rings, similar to a piston ring in a car. Okay. The internals of this, you see we've got a little gasket material to clean off, has a stainless steel liner in it and it's chamfered. All right, when you go with these back, go back together with these, you're going to want to offset your little splits in the rings here. Some people like to put them 30 degrees apart. Somebody said, you know, they have to be straight apart from each other. Just make sure they're not lined up. That's the main thing. And when you go to put this back on, of course, you don't need any kind of lube on this or anything like that. When you go to put this back on, you've got two water lines, basically, one here, one here. And you want to line these up just like they came off. All right. Place it over the top. Don't force it on, guys. All you got to do, go a little circular motion like that. Gets those rings started in that little chamfer. No need to force it. Just a little bit with each ring. It'll slide right back down on there. Back down to home. And you can take the four shorter bolts. Stick them right back in the holes. Tighten them back up. And it's absolutely just the reverse of the way you put it together. The main purpose of this video is to show you the components of this, how it works, how easy it is to do an R&R &R on it if you ever need to, and the components that are used. The components in this, being silicon bronze, for the most part against stainless steel, are going to last you well, virtually forever. I mean, they're going to last a long, long time. The enemy of any of this kind of stuff is heat. That's why we went with the cooling system we did. We're going to tighten these up. I like to run them all down just touching first before I snug any of them up. Keep from getting anything cocked in there sideways or if you feel any resistance or anything like that. Really not that much to it. Yeah, we got one more. And this last one in here. Like I said, you do this repeatedly or anything like that, be sure to put a little anti-seize, guys. This one has plenty on it. You get plenty of torque on it from the end like this. It does not need to be super, super tight. It's got a nice, thick gasket there. And the cylinder pressure that it's holding back underneath is not high pressure. All right. So we tighten those down like that. You're ready to put back on your water jacket. It just slides right over there, your O-ring being down there. Doesn't hurt to put a little silicone grease on those. It's always good for O-rings. Make sure your top gasket's clean, relatively clean. <laughs> and uh, a little silicone grease goes a long way on those too. Need a little debris you got on there, and then you have your two small O-rings that seal up your water. Now notice the O-rings on this are just to seal up the water. They don't seal pressure at all, they just seal up water. And this, of course, the orientation of this just like it came off. Alright, simple as that. The four longer screws, start them with your fingers. So this is going into aluminum. So I always like to start it with my fingers first before you put a wrench on it. Alright, just a couple threads so you know you're not putting it in there sideways or anything like that. This centers itself, so do the same thing on this. We're going to tighten it up just a touch. Just like that. Simple as putting your airlines back on and your water lines back on. And that's it, guys. Connect your water lines right quick. At this point, I like to turn on my coolant system. Make sure we got no leaks. 
Okay. Fill up with water there. You see the air leaving the system. No leaks. So we know we're good. All right. You can continue on with putting the sheet metal cover and the water reservoir on, and you're back in business, guys. It's just that easy. I'd like to thank my customers for all the support that we've had so far and let you know that we're going to make sure that you get the best compressor for the money. Thanks, guys. Base.